So up at the top of our property, there's a creek that uh, runs in for just a half a second and then dips out. When we first bought this property, there were some property line issues. Um, the neighbors, uh, most of their front yard was on our property. Um, so we ended up trading them back their front yard um, for three acres up top. And the reason, part of the reason I did that, and I didn't discuss it at the time, but is at the very corner of the, of the property up there, uh, there, Swamp Creek runs in for a little bit. So there's a lot of elevation up there and a creek running through the top of the property gives me a few ideas originally i had wanted to uh actually just plumb pressure uh from the from the creek filter it and plumb the, the cabin with that um, but we decided to go ahead and drill a well typically for resale values and that sort of thing you need to have some sort of a, a standard type of uh, water system so we went ahead and drilled the well set it up as you would kind of normally for a house um, but uh, I kind of want to still tinker with this idea of running uh, hose from up top in the creek and running down uh, to the garden. The more water we have to run through our, our well system, the more we filter and, and the more that costs, obviously, to pump it up and also infiltration products because we do, uh, do a whole house filtration system. So I have an idea to run a bunch of line from there, make a little, a little catch box and uh, get some of that water flowing down the hill, see what kind of pressures we have. I think that'll be kind of a fun project to tinker with. I got a bunch of PEX fittings from when we did the house. I'm just going to use this to size real quick and see if any of these style fittings would work on that tubing. We had quite a bit of this tubing laying around. I don't know how much is here. Probably won't be anywhere close to reaching, but uh, yeah, I'll give us something to tinker with and see. I think a one inch coupler would be just about perfect if you heat that up and clamp it. Well, that one's bigger. Huh. Looks like we got a few different size lines, so that might make things interesting. Sally Bear, what are you doing? What you need us to do? All right, so I found three different sizes of hoses. So I got to run into town this afternoon. I'll uh, swing by the local, uh, our local stores like a Tractor Supply, uh, but a different name. So we'll uh, we'll see if they've got some irrigation fittings uh, for us to do some adapting. All right, well I just scabbed together a little box, nothing much, just a bunch of scrap uh, boards I had laying around, and then drilled a hole through it. So a uh, three-quarter inch. NTP nipple is just big enough to fit inside that one inch uh, tubing. I'm going to go ahead and flip that through here. Maybe. There we go. So it'll look roughly something like this. Holes will go on the back. Now that's just there to uh, keep it from pulling down with all the weight of the water and a little screen. So I think this will work. This box will catch water and uh, raise it up. So hopefully having this up and off the bottom where the silt and the majority of that will settle uh, will help keep it clearer for longer. Whew. Glad that sun just went behind that big old cloud over there because it was getting warm. It's up in the low 90s I think today. Summer's coming whether we're ready or not. I don't think I've ever seen it rain quite this much here. Big old hail, thunderstorm, this is crazy. A bunch more down out of the woods so uh, hopefully we got enough to reach close down to the house here
All right, we are up at the top corner of the property. This right here is Swamp Creek. If you've been with the channel for a while, you know that we had uh, the name as Swamp Creek Cabin for a while. Oh, well, this is Swamp Creek, so. Um, run through the corner of the property here, so we're going to uh, put a little box up here and uh, see what we can do. Looks like some of our little bird friends are back. They're making a home in the uh, in the bird box we made. And it looks like they were just making some babies on the power line. So we're always glad to see these, uh, are these sparrows? Swallow swallows or sparrows? I can't even remember which one. Always glad to see them back because they eat lots and lots of mosquitoes. Making some headway in the garden. Uh, Dee Dee got some stuff planted today, a bunch of squashes and uh, pumpkins and some other stuff in these two beds that she did. Uh, she also got a bunch of tomatoes done up in the, uh, the next bed up there. And then when I got home, I had about an hour, so I planted four rows of corn. So, uh, trying to get some stuff in the ground, get it rolling, even though this garden is still a muddy mess. I'd really like you to focus on the mice and leave the birds alone. Come on. He found a giant moth that was over in the uh, garden over here. All right, I know this looks a little funky. All I had was a T to adapt this. So we have a 75 PSI uh, pressure valve there. It kicks on at 75 PSI. I'm sure we're gonna have at least that much coming down the hill. Um, so I want that to blow before it blows apart the line. Um, and then I've got a, a hose fitting here to put a hose on. So we're gonna test it out, see if it works okay. I used a lot of old line in this, uh, just laying around the property so it didn't cost very much. I'm guessing we probably got holes or a split somewhere in there and we're not getting enough suction. All right, we're gonna turn the vacuum cleaner on and go walk this line and see if we can find a hole. I wonder if that could be part of the problem. Uh, that split's probably not helping either. All right, we didn't get it. Uh, didn't have quite enough suction on the vacuum for that long of a run. Um, I think plan B will be to run um, straight down out of the creek for a longer run before cutting over side hill across the creek or across the property uh, to kind of get over to where the cabin is. Uh, get a little more head pressure coming down 
uh, before we start going side hill and up and over and under logs and stuff. So um, I think we just have too many air pockets in there and just not wanting to cooperate. So we'll go to plan B. All right, I kind of rerouted this thing a little straighter downhill and it looks like we got lots of head pressure coming out, so that's good. Uh, whereas where I was at this point in the line before, there was like nothing, so. Um, hopefully this uh, pressure will help to carry it on downhill. Well, I'm just kind of walking the line down, checking things as we go, looking for leaks, and uh, got our first leak there to joint. Figure out what's going on here. There's a lot of pressure there. Well, found the problem, got a little wet in the process, but um, they had a just a, kind of a slip joint deal in there uh, with a smaller pipe inside the bigger one. So I've got a barbed one inch joint. We'll go ahead and fix this and send that water where we want it. I guess there's enough pressure here that I can't exactly just kink this and then uh, uh, expect it not to sprout a leak right there afterwards. So uh, this will be fun cutting it, I guess, and uh, trying to fuse it with water flowing through. I could go up a thousand yards upstream and cut that off again, but I think I can, I think these three quarters are small enough I can get them in. That's interesting. So we have our 75 PSI kickoff. So apparently the friction of the smaller diameter pipe um, has not exceeded the drop. So I figured this would be blown and we'd be spewing water everywhere, but uh, not the case. Wanna see how much water pressure we got without that valve in place. Well, that was a pretty cool project. Uh, we've got better water pressure there than we do at the house. So um, wasn't kicking the 75 PSI uh, valve that I have on there, but uh, way more pressure than we have at the house. It's probably somewhere in the 60 PSI range if I had to guess just roughly based on the, the hose pressure there. It was wanting to kick it around on its own. It was pretty funny. <sighs> cool project. So. Uh, I think we're going to uh, run the water in the garden uh, through this. We uh, have a whole house filtration system because we have arsenic in the water, so the less water that we run through um, the pump set up, the less filters and so on that we have to, to uh, mess with. So this is going to be a good good thing for us. Kind of a neat little project. We'll, uh, we'll tinker with this, and I'm sure, in the future videos, but uh, for now it's just a proof of concept. So uh, I'm excited. It works. and. Uh, We'll tinker with it from here. So thanks for coming along guys. We'll catch you later. All right, wait, wait, wait. I had to know what the PSI was. So stopped by the hardware store the other day and picked up a pressure gauge. So let's see what this thing does. All right, so it's open right now. We're gonna shut it. Looks like we have a little bit over 60 PSI 
61 PSI. That's pretty cool. That's that gets me pumped. That's pretty exciting. Exciting. Um, 60 PSI. Well, we have about another 30 foot of elevation drop to the house. That'd be way more than enough to run the house if we ever needed it to. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, I think we have a lot more elevation drop, um, but we're using a fairly small diameter uh, hose, so there's more friction involved in that. So um, if we ran a larger diameter hose, we get even higher PSI, I believe. About to do some research on that, but anyhow, that is pretty cool. All right, guys, this time for real. We'll see you next time.